Hello? Yeah, I'm on my way. Okay, so we have one more. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's Kia, and it is Vlogtober Day 25. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about people that were on death row and their extravagant last meals. Some of them aren't really extravagant. Some of them are like what why would you ask for that so again as i stated in my last video if i sound you know congested or nasally or whatever because i'm not feeling well and i'm sick so as well as you see me grab this cup i got a whole thing of tea in here y'all like i can't even drink it right now because i don't know if y'all can see that steam coming from it it's extremely hot so i'm gonna cool down some but yeah so I have my phone, some information on it, on the people that I picked, people that I've researched, some people I already knew like what their last meal was, but all right, let's get into it. So first we're gonna be starting off with Victor Fuegra. Now, Victor Fuegra was um, charged and convicted for kidnapping a, um, kidnapping a doctor and he killed him. So his whole backstory is basically he wanted drugs um, and he claimed that a woman needed medical attention when the doctor came over. He kidnapped him and killed him in sight of trying to get drugs out of him and whatnot. So uh, they did find the guy's body in a cornfield with a single gunshot to the head. So that's that. So now we're going to get into what did he request. Now. He was put to death at the age of 28, only 28. And for his last meal, he requested a single olive with the pen in it. A single olive, I'm gonna put the picture right here. Your last meal, you want an olive? An olive. I really wanna know what was the significance behind the olive, like clearly he liked it, but I wanna know like why an olive? Out of all things. Why? Our next person is going to be John Wayne Gacy. Now I'm pretty sure most of you know who John Wayne Gacy is. The clown killer that was in Chicago. He was convicted of rape and 33 murders. He was a serial killer and he only preyed on um, younger boys, little boys. And yeah, rape and 33 murders. 33 counts of murder. So he was put down in 1994, death by lethal injection. So his last meal was, he requested 12 fried shrimp, a bucket of KFC chicken, french fries, and a pound of strawberries. So I'm gonna put that picture up here as well. Um, he just basically combined a bunch of stuff that like he loved and was like, I gotta have this as my last meal. I agree with the, the french fries. I don't like KFC chicken, so no. But that, the french fries, the french fries and the strawberries, well, that's just so weird to be eating all together like that. Okay. Ricky Ray Rector was 42 years old and he had two counts of murder and he was put down in 1992 by lethal injection as well. Okay, now his last meal says it was a steak, fried chicken, cherry Kool-Aid, and pecan pie. And this is the crazy part. He left a pie on the side of the tray and he told the correctional officers that 
he told the correctional officer that took him to the chamber so he can get, um, you know, put to death or whatever. He told him that he was saving it for later. Sir. I don't, maybe he wasn't in his right state of mind, not understanding where he was going, because where he was going, he wasn't coming back, sis. Okay? He was not coming back. So I don't know what he meant by saving it for later, but... He left the pie. How you gonna request the pie and not eat it? Then somebody you saving it for later. That was your last pie. The next person is Ted Bundy. Now everybody should know who Ted Bundy is. A bunch of documentaries on him, a bunch of TV shows on him, docu series, just a lot of stuff. So he was a one of the most famous serial killers, um, and he was sentenced to death for rape, necrophilia prison escape and more than 35 counts of murder so he had more than john wayne gacy and when they say more than 35 they don't even really know how many women he has ultimately killed like because all the bodies were not found and this is one guy who did claim his innocence up all the way into his death and he was his own lawyer like if you never watched his documentary um or the docuseries that they had there's also one where zach efron played him go watch it it's crazy but yeah so he's one of the most notorious serial killers in american history so bundy actually declined a special meal so he was given the traditional last meal but i feel like this meal is still kind of special or special or extravagant for him to not have requested one it was steak cooked medium rare eggs over easy hash browns toast with butter and jelly milk and juice gonna put that right here so I still feel like that's a very extravagant meal as your last meal even though he declined Daniel Anthony Lucas now Daniel Anthony Lucas was on death row for 16 years and this was after murdering a family after a burglary attempt so he requested steak and cheese calzone a piece of top with meat a stuffed portobello mushroom and a chef salad that incorporated both honey mustard and ranch dressing, turning it into two separate salads. So the next person is goes by the name of Timothy James McVeigh. You guys aren't familiar with who Timothy is. He was an American terrorist and he perpetrated the 1995 Oklahoma City bombing. And this bombing killed over 168 people and I think injured over like 700. So he was charged for murder of 168 people, 168. So he was put to uh, death by lethal injection in 2001 and he was charged and convicted in 1995. So he wasn't really on death row that long, but yeah. For Timothy's last meal, he requested two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream, two pints. I don't like chocolate chip ice cream, that's nasty, but two pints of chocolate chip ice cream, you ain't want no real food, you just want an ice cream. Okay, so we have one more. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> okay, so the last person I have is by the name of Robert Alton Harris. Okay. So he was tried, convicted, and put to death for car thief, burglary, kidnap, and murder of two um, teenage boys in San Diego. His death was actually the first execution that was in the state of Florida since 1967. So his last meal requested two large pepperoni pieces, a bucket of fried chicken, and ice cream. Two large pieces, a bucket of fried chicken and ice cream. I really want to know what's the time frame that they had to eat this because two large pizzas, fried chicken and ice cream. I really want to know how long they have to eat this, like, cause that's ridiculous. Along with his last meal, a lot of he's very like famous for his last words that he stated. Now he did before he died in the gas chamber. He did. Um, say to one of the family members of the young boys that he killed he did mouth I'm sorry 
but he's very notorious for this um for his last words before he said that he said you can be a king or a street sweeper but everybody dances with the grim reaper now i don't know where that quote comes from or if he made that quote himself but yeah so i want to thank you guys for watching about october day 25 those are the weirdest and most extravagant last meals for people who are on death row i hope you guys enjoyed my next vlog will be a haunted house i am going to a haunted house today so that'll be for tomorrow's vlog so i hope you guys enjoyed like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time i post a video tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend to watch vlogtober and i shall see you guys tomorrow in vlogtober day 26.